Hey, it's Goji Berry here, and today I've got a video for you guys. And today's video is going to be for Battle Breakers. There was a new update, and I've had a couple of people ask me to make a new macro for this game. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a macro for Battle Breakers. And actually, guys, the new update for Battle Breakers has made this so much easier uh, for making a macro for it. Uh, it's made it really simple and easy, so I hope you guys like this video. It may be a little short, but uh, that's good for you. Less work to do. And uh, so I'm going to jump into all the things that you need in order to create this macro from scratch. And so you can auto grind this game. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. First, you're going to need Epic Launcher. The second thing you're going to need is Pullover's Macro Creator. And I should have the link for those down below. And once you download the client and get Battle Breakers on your PC, and you also download Pullover's Macro, you should be all set. All right, what's up, guys? So switching over to my computer, I have Battle Breakers up on my computer. And I'm going to snap this to the right side of my computer window just because it's good to have your client in the same place every single time. Um, at least that's how I like to do it. The second thing I'm going to have up is Pullover's Macro Creator here on the left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the options and the settings. So the options right here. Go down one to settings. And then I'm going to look at recording. And generally, these are the settings that I use for Pullover's Macro Creator for all of my macros. I'll just go over them quickly. You want to make sure that Capture Key State down up is selected. Um, and you also want to make sure that Screen is selected. And the reason that I have Screen selected is because this client is going to be in the same place every single time. And that makes it easy for me, uh, easy for the coordinates to pick out where to click, in my opinion. If I was doing a game like Code Vein, which I actually I do have an auto grind video for Code Vein, with Code Vein I had to use client um, because I minimized that window on my desktop. So instead of having it here, I had it you know, somewhat in the middle of the screen like this and so every time I pulled it up it could be here or it could be there um, so I didn't really have that much consistency with it and in my personal opinion I think that it's better to be able to use screen or client client versus window um, so these are my settings screen and I click OK and we should be ready to start our macro guys um, for this macro, we're going to go ahead and fight this level 57 match. And we're, whichever match it is, whichever match that you want to fight, you're just going to go ahead and go through it. I want to make sure that you guys are on the right uh, replay screen. So if you guys get this screen here, you're going to have to hit replay and go through the battle one more time. All right, guys, so this is going to be super simple. What we're going to do is record ourselves hitting replay and then waiting for this battle to be over with. That way we can hit the replay button again. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Pullover's Macro Recorder and we're going to hit the red record button. Then we're going to come to our keyboard and hit F9. And that should make the recording start. And now we're going to just simply bring our mouse over to the replay button and hit replay. And we're going to now wait until the replay button pops up again. Alright guys, the battle is over and we're back to the replay button. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click replay and then we're going to hit F9 on our keyboard. And we're going to open up Pullover's Macro. 
and this is the sleep here so this pause here is basically how long this match took and so in seconds it looks like it's about 263 seconds and so that's about four minutes four and a half minutes but technically what we can do guys is we can select everything above that pause and we can delete it and so we have our pause here and then we have some movements and we have our click and this is to replay the match and so you, all you want to do is make sure that this pause here is enough time regardless of what chats going on or what happens in the battle that this this one here is enough time for the battle to go through with everything all right guys and you want to make sure that you have your hotkey for playing this macro setup so right here where this F4 is and this play section is, this is where you're going to type in the hotkey for the next one. So you can make that F3, F4, F2, you can make it D, you can make it R, you can make it whatever you want it to be. I leave mine at F4. And also you need to understand what this loop section is. So in this section, this is how many times you loop it. So if you want, want it to play 20 times and stop, or 200 times and stop you can put that here if you want it to run infinitely you just put a zero in this box and this will run forever until rather the client updates or the server shuts down or whatever or your computer freezes uh, occasionally you will have to restart this but that's all you need to know before you play it and in order to play this what you do is you come over to these the icon that has a blue circle with a white play button in the middle and you click this and then you click your hotkey for me it's F4 and that will start the macro and so after I hit F4 for this one it's actually going to do the pause first and then it's gonna come up and hit that replay button and when it hits that replay button then it will infinitely loop and grind battle breakers for me so I can go out tonight or go eat a pizza or go to sleep and this is gonna be grinding for me while I'm sleeping and I love it when I do this because when I get up in the morning and maybe I've worked really hard on myself or my life or being involved with my family and my friends I can get up the next morning and I have stuff to do in this game or I've got new resources that I need to allocate and so I hope this helps you guys out. As always, thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video.